it's Maya welcome back to my channel and in today's episode or in today's video we are going to do something very fun that I've been waiting for and planning for for a couple I feel like I guess dreaming of for a couple of years now I'm gonna go to the Louis Vuitton store and purchase my first ever bag so here's my outfit for today I'm wearing a black blazer a sports bra here and then a skirt but I've kind of just pulled it over to be like a little dress additionally it is 95 degrees outside and I am well aware that I am wearing a blazer and going to face the heat in this I have a change of clothes in my bag but I don't think this is going to be too long of a journey as it is already four. So I'm going to do it kind of when the sun sets, hopefully, um, and get some nice pictures at the store. So I have a ton of fun masks to choose from, but I think to keep it with a theme, I think I'm just going to go with this one, this beautiful black like dragonflies. Okay, leaving my hotel and it looks like for the subway we have three stops. So that's actually kind of a lot of transfers. Sorry, not stops, transfers. So we got three transfers and we should get there in about 30 minutes. So super close, just the transfers might take, take a second because these are some lines that I have not been on so far. I also know I'm gonna like not be saying this very soon, but wearing the blazer in 95 degree heat is actually not too bad. Plus it protects me from getting sunburned, <laughs> but I'm probably gonna be complaining soon, so. Guys, I just made it. I'm going up exit three and the escalator is broken. So I'm walking up a lot of stairs, <laughs> but we're almost there. We have like a three minute walk once I exit. Okay, I see trees. Oh, that's a lot of stairs. Guys, here it is, the Galleria. It feels like we're like in Rodeo Drive in like LA a little bit because you can just tell there is a ton of wealth in this area or at least a ton shopping here it was funny just earlier today i was researching the best louis vuitton store to go to in seoul i couldn't find any blog posts but i definitely think we hit the nail on the head with this one because there are so many beautiful stores here and i just think this is like this is going to be a good one for the first purchase and then what I love about this is you can find some of the coolest architecture here. Like, that building is insane. Okay, so I see the tip of the building and it looks so, it looks so gorgeous. Ah, it looks so good. I have seen this in photos and it's just so elegant and it really is. Oh my God, it's like glass. It's the, there's so much going on. I don't even know how to explain it. Let me show you. So I'm gonna go in and I don't know if I'll be able to film. I might ask to take a few pictures, but I'm gonna go in. They have bouncers at the door, so this is it. You guys, this is insane. I just got water, but we're looking at bags. I did it! I have... 
had the literally i had the best i don't know how loud this is so hopefully it's not too loud i had the best best experience i've ever had in a louis vuitton i think this was the perfect store to go to i ended up having i get two bags i got two big bags don't worry it's not that much but i did buy my dream purse and then on top of that i got some other free things um the woman working at the store was the nicest and let me go sit down and tell you guys i'm just excited so i just thought i'd pull up my camera but i will give you guys a more in-depth explanation i got to take a lot of photos and i took a bunch of videos to remember this but hopefully i will be back to that store um sometime before i leave seoul just because it was so it was it was the perfect experience guys why are these stores so so good we have right there dior and behind it there's burberry and gucci oh they are fantastic like gucci's got grass coming out of the actual like store with this cute car that matches it it's just it's adorable and this is a very very wealthy street and you can tell people got their money here gotta there's my point <laughs> Guys, I'm in Dior and I've like gotten lost. Like, I was just in Dior and now there's Dior home. Like, what is this? <laughs> there's so much to explore here. Guys, I'm so confused. I don't know, everything just, everything just looks the same. <laughs> but it's like so many floors. It just keeps going. Oh, now we're in shoes. Oh, wow. Okay, so now I guess I'm going to Cafe Dior. Don't know where that is. Okay, someone just came in, but I'm going to Cafe Dior. Don't know what that is, but we're, we're gonna see. This is exciting. Let's see. Okay, it appears that they are closed, but that's okay, because it's like almost seven. I don't know why I thought they'd be open, but it's really cute. It looks like the coffees are like, $15, so kind of expensive, what we thought, but it wasn't outrageous, so doable. Okay, so this one's a really cool Dior. Well, it's the most beautiful Dior I've ever seen, but they don't really have like people like follow you in this one, so I'm kind of just browsing by myself. I also think they're closing, but there's so much to look at here. It's gorgeous. I don't even know if I'm allowed to walk on the carpet here. Like, it's so beautiful. You guys, there's like, it's a lion. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Is this a fitting room? Like, why is it so quiet? Like, I feel like I need a whisper. Cause there's this showroom right in front of the fitting rooms there. Okay, so I was like looking at the cars outside of these designer stores and I was like, why are the cars in front of the designer stores? Like, it's blocking the entrance. And then I'm realizing half them are like Lamborghinis. So, that's fun. But, I <laughs> just like, just the Lamborghinis are just parking in front of the stores. And it looks like, this is like a sidewalk. It, it feels like a sidewalk, but yet there's like cars on it. So... It's a very interesting, I guess, well, there's no parking here, first of all, so it's interesting that you can just park outside, I guess, if you're visiting. So that's a luxurious experience. But I think I'm on the hunt to find Hermes, maybe, and kind of call it a night, because this is, it's a lot to carry. I got these two bags here. I can't wait to show you guys what I got, but, just walk in, just walk, there's another. Is that a, I don't even know some of these cars. Like, I, some of them are like Lamborghinis, but some of them like they just, they are expensive and you can just tell. But I'm gonna walk and try to find Hermes. That, oh, I needed to first take a photo of this Gucci store. What? Okay, I'm sorry, that is just fantastic. Hopefully I inserted the photo right before that. That was, that is the prettiest store. 
I'm tempted to go in. No, I won't because this will give me a reason to come back. I need food first. So I'm gonna go to the mall and make my way back because it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. It doesn't feel like 95, but it definitely feels like 90. Okay, silly me. So I'm at the Caloria and it is, oh, I look, why do I look like this? <laughs> but they are all designer stores here. So we got like Bottega in front of us. We had like Valentino. So I feel like, I feel like I'm blending in, but I was expecting there would be food here and there's definitely not food here. So I'm going to have to keep searching because fancy jewelry stores, it's not gonna do it right now. Actually, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go home to Myeongdong and find food there because it's really noisy here. So hopefully that's okay. But I have not been able to find food around here. It seems that this is more of a shopping area and I don't know if I'll be able to find any good vegetarian options, but I'm also tired of carrying my bags. So I think I'm gonna go back and get some noodles and we can do an unboxing at home, but there she is. Okay, I'm back in my hotel room. I have changed because I was just sweating in my blazer. Finally, it caught up to me, but I got some food. I have this amazing mango smoothie from Gongcha. Fabulous, this boba place is the best. And then from my favorite uh, kind of vegetarian Chinese place, I got some noodles and they're in a bag. <laughs> and I don't really know why, but they're in a bag, in a bowl. Oh, probably because they're worried about the bowl, like, breaking because it's not plastic it's like paper but noodles in a bag in a bowl and I'm gonna eat that and then I can show you guys what I got from Louis Vuitton Green. <gasps> we just made it I'm so happy I never get green, so anytime there's bok choy. Okay, the moment everyone has been waiting for, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So when I left the store, I had this bag. I also have this big one. So I was not expecting to leave the store with two bags. Here was my advisor's name. She went by Ashley. She was absolutely the sweetest. I had a great time. They had to give me like an English speaker because of course I don't speak Korean. So she was speaking to me and told me about like the history of the store and everything. And I just found out so many fun facts from it. It was quite the experience in itself just to be able to spend the day at Louis Vuitton. She previously worked at the Louis Vuitton in Manila, I believe, and now has been working at the one in Seoul here. And this one, this is the Louis Vuitton Mason you can tell a mason soul and so for that it just means i don't know if that's focusing for that it's just kind of like you get a more hands-on experience it's not like a department store so i really did choose the best place i could have gone to to get my bag here in seoul but on top of that we also went around the store i guess i'll just give you a description like what was the store so when we walked in the first floor is like handbags and then obviously some like apparel pieces um, some seasonal collections. They're partnering with one of the artists here and so they had some of their collection out and then on floor two Which you could take the elevator or you could walk they had like this beautiful like staircase and then the elevator itself was gorgeous because everything in these stores are a work of art but on floor two that was the women's floor and with that that was like the clothing and the shoes and then on the basement floor there was a men's section similar to the women's floor two where there's just men's clothes um, and then some limited edition pieces and exclusive items that are only available in the Louis Vuitton Mason Soul. So that was fun because there was just, they were selling like, I guess Louis Vuitton like furniture and the objects, not just the bags. So they had clothes, objects, um, bags, just everything in the, the store. 
and then there's a third floor which uh they don't have anything that for like the public to go into right now and then there is a fourth floor which i think that might be the top floor and that's where they do events and everything i know in the past they've had like cafes there and exhibits and things all the louis vuittons give such a good personality in their stores and this one was very um like playful it was very like artistic colorful playful additionally ashley also showed me she showed me around the store so we like browsed together and she went over to the perfume section and got me some sample perfumes so i can show that but these are really cute. I have gotten her Hermes um, sample perfumes before, but I didn't actually know if Louis Vuitton had any, but it is confirmed that they do. They have the little sample perfumes. So I'll show you. This is one of their new scents they're partnered. This is, I believe, their Unichef one. So this is like their charity one. Um, and this is California Dreamin'. So cute, so pretty. Even the bottles, like the big bottles, are the ombre here. So I opened this up and I was pleased to find that the, even the small sample has the ombre as well. Very like fruity scent and then good for summer. And then this one is the, kind of like the same good for summer version, but this one is a more floral scent. So, so in bag number one, we have this, this box. I love I love, love, love. I've said, I'm probably going to say it so much now. But I love the packaging. Oh, I love the packaging of these luxury brands. But here is the box that they put this goodie in. Um, and this one, I just, I definitely didn't know I was going to get this. Um, but it's not that big, like not as crazy of a purchase as a bag, that's for sure. It's actually one of their cheaper items. It may actually be the cheapest thing that Louis Vuitton sells. But I thought a great memory could be fun to put out um, on display. Here it is. So they have wrapped it up here too. Cute little sticker, but here it is. The Soul City Guide. So I just, I just thought I needed this. I saw this on the table of all their city guides. And I thought it'd be really fun to get a city guide in the city that I bought like a big purchase for me, a memorable experience. The purchase that we went into the store for, we did actually end up with the bag that I was looking at. Sorry, I was just reaching for something. Um, we did actually end up with the bag that I was looking at, though Ashley had a bunch of really nice bags and there was another one. It was like the uh, van. The Vavin, Vavin bag, I believe. That one, I was definitely, that one's a close, that was a close second. I was convinced for that one. So maybe I have to go back and get that one. But this is the one that I have been dreaming of. So, oh my gosh, it comes up with a flat. I've never gotten a bag from Louis Vuitton yet. So this is really exciting. There it is. Okay. So it's in here. Guys, the boxes are collapsible. I mean, I that would make sense if they're storing them, but I didn't know that. The dust bag. And here she is. I ended up getting the Louis Vuitton Locky BB. And she is so beautiful. So. This is the bag I went with. So the back looks like it's made out of leather and then it has the monogram canvas as well. I might keep this. I heard the lock sometimes, you know, could get a little scratched up. So I'm gonna keep this uh, little cover on it for a bit here, at least maybe while I'm traveling until I get it home. But here it is. It's really nice and spacious. It also comes as with a strap here. So you can use it as a crossbody or you can carry it um, with the single carrier here. Here's the bag and there's plenty of spots. So you could have a portable charger, you could have your wallet and you could have your phone all in it. And I think that's perfect for uh, my first, you know, go-to bag to be a little spacious. So this is it. Also what I've noticed too about the bag is that the handle when displaying will sit up straight. That was a big question I had and I wasn't, you know, able to find any videos that explained that. 
but right here, if you see the metal's bent, it actually allows the handle to sit up. So it's really nice as a great like display piece, but of course I'll be using it as an everyday bag. But with that, this is the bag and I'm super excited to be able to call this my first ever Louis Vuitton bag that I bought and saved up money for myself. So it's a really fun gift to and fun memory to be able to treat myself, especially being able to treat myself abroad here in Seoul. But with that, if any of you guys have any questions about the bag, I will probably be talking about my experience with it. Um, but if you guys do have any specific questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching my video and coming along with me. So, see ya!